percent, Lloyd Banks and Tony Yeo as G-Unit? Yeah. G-Unit. I wonder what made them name themselves that, like what does the G and G-Unit stand for anyway? Like is it Grand Unit? Ghost Unit? Or is it... Gangsta Unit. I don't know Riley, why don't you just look it up? God dang what's up with you, you've been like this for weeks. You still down about Tatiana leaving you home? Hey. Anybody want get with my brother here? He's really cute, he likes stop bitches to get day. Will you shut the hell up? Don't be yelling my damn business to the city. They'll laugh at me. Uh, I'm sorry G, if this was me I'll be feeling the same way. Granddad, we back. Your grandfather not here, he taking care of some business right now. Well how long he gone be gone? Why do it matter to you? He still ain't happy that you decided to drop out of school. Man he's still on this, everybody's still on stuff, Huey's still down about Tatiana, now granddad's still not happy about me dropping out of school. Like? Damn! No. He's not happy, and I'm not either. Riley why would you do your grandfather like this? He took you and Huey in and this is how you repay him? You need to go fix this. Ida, I'm not going to fix anything, I'm staying out of school and that's final. Riley Freeman if you don't finish school like everyone else you can't spend the rest of your life outside on the streets somewhere. No, I'm sticking to my word, I'm not going back to school. That's it. Go to your room. Right now. So you pretty much stick insides with granddad on this whole. He probably told you, whenever me or Huey do something irresponsible you guys are supposed to go to your room. Alright. I'm going to my room, but I ain't going back to school. What made you decide to drop out of school? Nothing G, I'm just tired of being a school student that's always failing to accomplish school goals. That's great Riley, that's just great. Now granddad's youngest grandchild is a high school dropout, way to go. Wait a minute, while you all up on me, how would you feel if you was screwing up on your accomplishments in school? Would you do the same? No I wouldn't drop out I would. Look little kid, this ain't got nothing to do with me, this is about you. Yay, I know. I mean you gotta understand Huey. Every time I do something irresponsible or obnoxious at school, and I tell granddad I'll do better. But I don't. I turn around and fail again. That is true brah. I mean what's granddad gon do if you keep telling him you ain't going back? Granddad can demand me to go back to school all he want to, if he got a problem with it. That's too bad. You know what? I'm with you on this. Word. Word. Let's go downstairs and get ready for dinner. Fosho. Granddad. Oh, how are you, Huey? Um. Good. Okay, I'm sorry to hear about your relationship with Tatiana. What happened? She dumped you? She didn't dump me, she says because of us graduating. She thought her life would get horrible afterwards, so she decided to go home. I'm like what does that gotta do with our relationship? Oh tough squash, we all go through that kind of stuff. Speaking of school, Riley have you thought about going back to school? Um. Yay, and I'm not going. Says who? Says me. Like I told I'd I'm not going back to school and that's final. First of all who the hell do you think you are to tell a grown woman what's final? How could you let Riley take advantage of you like that? Hey, I tried telling him he needs to fix things or else he's gonna spend the rest of his life outside on the streets. And you know what happens to kids who don't graduate? Yeah, they end up extremely dumb. Can I interfere? What we eatin' for dinner? You're not eating anything until you make the decision to go back to school. Granddad? No! Every time I go to school, whenever I accomplish something bad, 
you fuss at me all the time, then you threaten to whip my ass or punish me, now I'm tired of receiving that from you and I know you're tired of doing all that towards me. Now for the last and final time I'm dropping out of school, and there's nothing you or I can do about it. Let me tell you something. No, let me tell you something. It's my life. I can do whatever the hell I want. Riley. You are starting to do too much right now, brah. He started it. You know what, Riley? Why don't you go ahead and do what you want? Thank you. Started with you letting me throw you out of the house. Robert. Granddad, you can't do that. Yes, I could. And I'm not afraid to. I'm not gonna let you throw my brother out on the streets like that. Well, you can go with him. Robert Freeman, if you even dare throw these kids outside on the streets, I swear to God I'm canceling our future wedding arrangements. When my kids used to go to school, I didn't allow them to drop out of school. I told them if you're thinking about dropping out of school, you must be thinking about moving out of the house. Well, we ain't your kids, we your grandkids. And you can't change from what you told to your kids to telling it to your kids and grandkids. That's it. Riley Freeman, get the hell out of my house. Fine. I can't sit by you. You know what? You're a, you're a piece of. I, I swear I. You're a, I swear to God. You're a horrible person, old man. I just don't believe it, G. I'm 17 and Granddad's still treating me like a 5-year-old child. I know, little kid. But let's face it, you're not 18 yet, you still got one year to go. What are you trying to say? I'm just saying, you're not at the right age limit to be making your own decisions yet, Riley. You're still a minor. I thought you was with me on this. I am, but look. At. Her. She looks hot, doesn't she? Girl in the pink, strapped up with a dog beside her. Her? Not her, you weirdo. Is she wearing pink? Her dog might be. Well, that's not who I'm talking about. Say I won't get up and talk to her. What about Tatiana? Screw Tatiana, she left me. But I still miss her. But seriously, just wait here. Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine. How are you? Good. I didn't know pink was your favorite color. Guess what my favorite color is. Kaka, <laughs> I don't know un rojo. Um. Yeah, red. I mean rojo. Rojo is my favorite the color. Tu hablas español. Um. Si. Si hablo español. Huey. Melissa. Nice puppy, Chihuahua. I got her from Petco Park. Wanna give her a rub feel free. You okay? Yay. Have we met before? Oh yay, you just reminded me, thank you. Oh I'm Laura. What's your name? I think I'm gonna be sick. So I was helping my brother move a big high-def flat-screen TV out of a V-Hall, and after we set it down, the TV fell on his toe, after he took his shoes off, his toe was purple like a plum. Orale homes. What el yo doy tal quinto mi woman ese? Your woman? That's Rick Thomas, mi woman. In gonna need yo to get out of her and go to cajique ese, she doesn't belong to yo homes. This guy is your boyfriend? No, 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 it's not. He dumped him those weeks ago. He won't stay away from me or my dog, Didi. What can he do? Look, brah. She says she dumped you two weeks ago. She wants you to leave her alone. Can you do? I'm not going anywhere, ese. 
Melissa is not your hero friend, this is just too old for your homies. Pablo. Pablo, what are you doing? All you want to do was grab the hero bear arm and take her to the front of the train. In no homies. Afraid her was talking to her. I want to kick his ass. I got this. Yo homies. Melissa is Pablo's woman say, eh? I don't want you talking to her. Why don't you just mind your business Mexican edge? Hold on, just go do you think you're talking to ese? Hey! I'ma need you to take it easy on how you talking to my brother homeboy. Or what? I'll beat your ass right now on this train. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, wait, 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 wait. This isn't about a girl. This became a tag team of two bros versus two Mexicans. What are we doing? We blacks need to show some respect to you guys. Huey, what are you trying to do? You know black lives matter. Yes, I know. And quit talking, let me straighten this out. We're willing to show some respect to you guys. And to start it off, let's play a little game. I'll start first. <coughs> Hermano, Sierra la boca y larga y aquí punk. Orale. Y'all think y'all can play our game with it? Alargate the new ass to see you, dad. Why no vuelves? Yo no yo can talk to me that why that's reverse discrimination. Both of you need to be in high lomes. What you gonna do? Call your Mexican police? Have us live around your filthy Mexican colored walls? Have us wear your Mexican colored prison jumpsuits? Have us eat your dirty tacos that y'all take out the garbage? That's it. In Moto Fere. Meto. That's right, this is our city. No Mexican Zach Morse is allowed. Yeah! Looking like a long haired version of Mario. God, that was crazy, G. Hope we don't have to go through that again. You're right, little kid. Let's just go back home, we can't find nowhere to sit and chill out here. But what if Granddad don't let me back in? He will. I know it for a fact. You think so? Yeah. Let's go home. Yeah, it's true. Hey, Ada. Riley and I are back from walking and talking. Okay. Riley Freeman. Nadine. Is it true after the principal said you can move to the 12th grade? You told your grandfather you're dropping out of school. Um. No. Yes. Maybe. I don't know. Well, is it true or is it not true? Yes, it's true. So Miss Robinson is not wrong about this? Hey, you don't have to call me Miss Robinson. Feel free to call me Ida. Okay. So why is this Riley? I'm tired of it. You're tired of school. Well, it's just that every time I try to accomplish something, I always mess it up. I can't go to school and do the same old, same old over and over again. I don't want you to date a failure. Cause you can't accomplish nothing in school gives you a reason to drop out. Yes. Well, Riley, I do got a simple solution. What's up? Get a tutor. It ain't that kind of trouble, Nadine. The trouble is... Me going to all my classes on time. See, I know what the problem was. You couldn't let me walk to my classroom by myself. I told you don't walk with me to my class and what happened? You walked me and you got your VE final strike, which caused you to get held back. Okay, let me stop you for a minute. Where are you trying to go with all this? What I'm trying to tell you is if you don't change your mind dropping out of school, our relationship is getting disbanded. My mom didn't raise me to date, go out, or marry no school dropout. Why you gotta do this to me, Nadine? Because, you earned it. Now I'm gonna say it one last and final time, change your mind on dropping out of school. Or you can kiss Nadine Divers goodbye. You sure about this? Yes. Well, you gonna have to stick with what your mom raised you not to do. What? You heard me. Like I told Dada, like I told Granddad, and like I'm telling you now. I'm dropping out of school and that's final, and you can go ahead and dump me for another negro.
You're gonna feel really sorry for doing this to me, Riley Freeman. Well, I hope you're excited. Yay, you managed to kick your girl to the curb. I'm not going back to school. I decided to go back to Chicago. I know you don't allow school dropouts in your crib, so I'm deciding to move out. Love. Riley. Oh, Grounded. Listen, I know you're still not excited about me dropping out of school, but listen, I'm gonna pack all my things and go back to Chicago. Riley. Pull yourself together. I'm over that now. Wait, what? Yeah, I thought about it. If you don't want to go back to school, you don't have to. Oh boy. But you will be working. Working. Grand at almost every restaurant, public store, or jewelry store is night hiring because every place is full of workers. You know how it is in Plata Town. Yeah, but that's not just the point. Do you have any idea how much school dropouts there are in Plata Town? Um, 1,000? No, no, Riley, not that much. If it was that much students, there would be like almost 600 people living on the streets. You want to know how much is it? 750. There's about 750 students who drops out of school every day in Plata Town. Riley, these students are so lazy to walk the stage. That's like saying they're gonna be lazy and not look for a job, nor a career. You're gonna go to work, and you're gonna succeed in life. I purchased this market store. The store will be ready in the next two weeks. I hired you and Huey as my first two workers. Oh, that's great. Yeah, if you thought you were gonna sit on your ass and play 2K basketball all day, you better think again. I didn't take you guys in just to babysit you. Yay. So what's the name of the store? Good question. The name of the place is called Robert's Market. Robert's Market? I thought the name of the store would have been something like the Family Market. That's it. The Family Market. Riley, you might be careless and immature, but you can be a genius. Yeah, I know. Hey! Yeah, that's what I'm gonna name the store. The Family Market. Great! Great! Just about 30 seconds to go and we win the NBA Playoffs trophy. Come on Steph Curry. What's up little kid? What's up G? A good shot Lillard. Wait 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 wait. Riley, what the hell happened to this house? Yeah I'll fix it when I'm finished with this game. Damn Dwayne Wade, you was open. No 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 how about get off the game and clean up right now. I got like 15 seconds left on the clock G, just hold on. That's foul on you James Harden. Okay that's how you wanna play? <laughs> Huey? Why you do that I was about to win the playoffs trophy. Do you have any idea how dirty this house is? Get yo 2k22 playing all day ass up and clean this crib up. Now. Okay. Damn!